I'm Kathy. I write about sex and politics. I was curious about if uh, society got better, more prosperous, more peaceful by uh, making monogamous marriage a norm, by taking some extraneous males uh, out of um, uh, society, then would it not follow that uh, a social norm that has one female with multiple husbands would be even better because we've got pretty good evidence that extraneous females are not particularly problematic to right. society and it would help uh, get rid of the remaining extraneous males. Right. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a, gr that's a great question. So uh, here's the issue. So um, w when I assemble this argument, I'm taking what we know about uh, evolutionary biology and about kind of male-female differences, and you very rarely see polyandrous society. So in the uh, anthropological record, about 0.3% of human societies have polyandry, and those societies don't have wide, I mean, they don't have lots of polyandry, they have a sort of non-trivial proportion of polyandry. The, the elite males in those societies are still often polygynous, and there's lots of monogamous marriage. And so from, the, from a sort of uh, fitness point of view, males can uh, create children with a number of different females simultaneously, so there's a big advantage to polygyny. Uh, females, there's no advantage to her from a fitness point of view of having multiple husbands because her, the husbands will invest in the children according to the degree to which they see themselves as the father. And so if you have multiple husbands and they're all having sex with the wife, then they, their patern their, their, the degree to which they see themselves as the father will get smaller. So she doesn't get any more investment in the children by having multiple husbands. So she has no incentive to be the husbands and, and the males aren't gonna like it. So it's only in certain ecological contexts where you really need two or more males to run the households that you see this pop up. And the men are usually brothers, which helps reduce the conflict of interest over, over paternity.